and uh, he contacted this disease at six months uh, shortly after birth, and it's that's usually when uh, this disease gets contacted shortly after birth. There's an 80 percent mortality rate when infants do contact this disease. That means they don't survive past two years old. Christopher is a walking miracle. He's got this incredible will to survive. Uh, he's undergone 20 operations to keep him alive. I still can't figure out where, how he, how he's doing it, how he does it. He's got energy galore, but right now he, he shouldn't even be alive. And, and yet, <laughs> he's, he's unbelievable, like, he, he would, he's got a quarter of his liver all operating right now, he's got more energy than me, his, uh, his dad, uh, Kelly, like, he tires us out, like, huh? Merle, didn't I say Merle? Did I say Kelly? Sorry. Like, after this is done, he's going to want to go swimming. After swimming, he's going to want to go go-karting. Go after go-karting, he's going to, like, you know, he doesn't stop this kid. And uh, he's just, he's a cool kid. Okay, first of all, like, they, it's still a mystery why some infants do get this disease and some don't. Uh, it's not, they haven't found any uh, facts that it's hereditary. Uh, so, it's, you know, the disease that affects him right now affects a whole bunch of parts of his liver, the bile ducts, the, the flow doesn't go properly, there's a whole bunch of medical stuff that's going on. Basically, this, the disease is preventing his liver from functioning fully. Two weeks. 
and uh, well, uh, we can't bring our sis my sister and my brother up because they have school to do. And uh, but uh, when they're done, they can. But yeah. And uh, other than that, I don't know. I forget what I was gonna say. Thank you for coming to Central and Rusha. And I wanted to present you this check. 